28th of February 2023 you guessed it hit that subscribe button if you haven't stopped right now go down and hit subscribe if you're not going to subscribe just quit watching the video have y'all heard what's going on over there in Ukraine now now we are agreeing to back them on taking Crimea back and Ukraine is planning a spring offensive to take Crimea back how does this not get us directly involved in this right you know we're sending stuff we start off we're not going to send tanks we're not going to send fighter jets we're not going to send this and now they've got tanks and eventually they'll start getting the fighter jets they want guys if we back them on this how can we weasel out of it and say we're not technically you know involved we don't have boots on ground right that's what they'll say we'll have the famous advisors that's what will be there They've probably been there this whole time. I've told you this whole time, I firmly believe that CIA spooks, special forces, things like that has been in there since the beginning of it, probably before it. Now, what is Russia going to do if we physically put troops on the ground? I do not, fir I firmly do not believe they would just immediately start launching nuclear weapons at us. Could it lead to that? Yes. But I don't see a need right now, like I've been saying, for nuclear weapons to be used that's not saying they won't use them i just don't see the need in it right now we haven't seen the full-blown russian military in action over there you know we haven't and you hear every day they're running out of ammo they're running out of missiles or they're running out of this they're running out of that and then we go and tell china that hey you better not you better not send them no no weapons nothing right you you better back off of helping them but yet we go around and we send weapons to everywhere it, it's going to come back and bite us. It really is. It's going to come back and bite us, and it's going to draw us into it. I've told you I firmly believe that we will be physically in this war by the end of the year. And when I say physically, I mean boots on the ground type of stuff. We are setting chess pieces up to play the game, and you do not set your chess pieces up not to play the game. I told you before, we're not over our protecting Ukraine. What are we protecting? The money. I had a football coach when I was growing up. He always told us, follow the money follow the money and it'll give you the answers you're looking for this is all about money i don't specifically see why we're over there they're not in nato right they're not a nato country but yet we're just funding them like crazy funding them funding them and eventually russia's going to say enough's enough i do not believe russia's just going to launch a nuclear weapon over here at us i don't believe that'll happen now not to say they wouldn't use a tactical nuke or something like that in ukraine but the nuclear warfare I see that kind of as a last ditch effort if you know if Russia's losing or if we're losing honestly that's what I see it you know Russia we have not seen their military in there yet we've seen conscripts things like that if they ever roll their full military in there it's going to get bad it's going to get back quick I said from the start that Russia should be able to just steamroll the country right well you got to stop and think I always said it didn't look like they wanted nothing but to the river. If you follow the river through there, it goes all the way from north all the way down to the ocean. I always felt that's all they wanted was their side of the river. But now we're setting it up where Ukraine is fixing to try to take back Crimea. Ukraine president essentially threatened the United States citizens saying if you you know if you don't believe in helping us, you'll never be a world power, you'll never this and that, you know. It's not our job to help every country that's in, in a war it's not and what's this going to do it's going to drag us in it we're going to be full blown into war and i'm telling you now get ready for it i'm not telling you to get ready for nuclear war but get ready for war a regular war that could lead to nuclear war if we go to war things will start being short you won't be able to get stuff at the store think back i always tell you remember your history world war ii everything was rationed right you can only get so much sugar a week so much gas a week so much of this a week that could happen again because the supply chain believe it or not is still not fixed what we're seeing in the stores is the stuff that has set on the on the on the boats and in warehouses and things like that and now it's just flooding into the store that's set there for a year or two why do you think all these stores are having these massive clearance sales it's because it it was last year the year before stuff you know it's not this new year stuff that i'm talking about shirts pants things like that or electronics it's last year's stuff or the year before and it's just going to get worse. When I'm hearing that they're already starting to ration some vegetables over in Europe, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but they're rationing but That will come here eventually. That's what people need to understand. What happens over there comes here eventually. But what I'm telling you right now 
It's, if you're not paying attention to this Russia Ukraine because it's so many miles away from us, start paying attention to it. You need to understand what's going on over there, and we're going to get involved in it physically. Eventually, we're, it's going to happen. Guys, stay safe out there. Keep your head on the swivel. Be aware of your surroundings at all times. Protect yourself and your family at all times. Guys, if you're still watching, hit the subscribe button. We're still trying to grow. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed. Stay safe. Get prepped up. And pay attention to what's going on over there.